into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's Louisiana taking on Arkansas. Just about set to go now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Smith. What do you have on him? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. And here is Matt Bingham. Oh, Louisiana. The left Matt Bingham. Two two now. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well the problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you you expand your zone you don't stay tall on the backside and you're really not even able to make contact if you do many times it's a pop-up one down base is empty next pitch in for a strike two and two now two, two. Now he breaks his back. And it's foul ball. And now the lefty spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Towards first. He'll do it himself. After that. Two up, two down. That is third. Take a look at the lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, but again, that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things That's together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Two outs, base is empty. He goes down looking. End of a half inning of play. No score. And we're back. And our pitcher in this game, Luke Holt. He was certainly on point his last out at Chris. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. Bottom of the first at the play. Number 10. The second big for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Bingham brings it in, and there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Kendall digs. Digs in now. And he deals. 
fastball <laughs> in for a strike. Full count now. Full count. And they'll do it again. Pitch. Good job to fight that one off. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And here it comes. The punch out there. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Next up, it's the first-year shortstop. Fouls one off. Two to two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One, and we're still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the rookie right fielder, Josh Pearson. Josh Pearson. Left hand batter waits. And a pop up right side, foul territory. McLaughlin drifts towards it. Makes the grab, one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And here's the rookie catcher. One out, base is empty. Fights it off, you'll see another. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also oh, keep the that. defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Two outs. And a two on hammer to foul. Distance for the off the home run, but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field. You just couldn't keep that one for it. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. No score here in the second. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, under this one. And that's the third out. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back, Leading bottom of the second. The and now the first baseman, the first Ben baseman. McLaughlin. Ben McLaughlin. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball there. The one two. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. White drifts towards it. Calls it in. And there's one away. Batting fifth. The catcher. Number eight. Now the catcher up to hit. White. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Holmes holds it down. That's out number two. That's good. That's a big number two. And now the DH. Two down, nobody on. In for a strike, and the count is one and two. Back.
Bounce to the right. And he grabs it in foul ground. One, two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. We move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. And now, number 10. The shortstop. Number 10. Breaking ball. ball inside. And it's two of one. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Two and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Gets under it. Makes the catch for the out. Batting it. The second base. Here's the second base, number 43. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. He's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn around on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted in this ballpark. And here's the rookie center fielder. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. One, two. A wide to kick the pitch. That misses. Two and two. It's a good two. Into center and a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Now back, left field, Matt Bingo. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Matt Bingo. And a pitch. That one's in there. And that's strike two. One run across in the frame so far here in game one of this three-game set. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Just nope. off the outside corner. Ball two. And Count another four. ball. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Payoff pitch. Now it's belted. Eat to left. Way out of here. Home run. A massive home run. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle bull again. He just kept taking his cuts, finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So up next, Tommy White. A 
Already three runs across in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one ripped. Dives and it gets by. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. In there safely. Everything came together for him. That just came off the bat really well in the center field. He really put a nice swing on it. And anytime you can get one to drop in out there, you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, man, these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. And now Jarrett Jones kicks and fires. In the air, right side, digs. Under it, nabs it, runner tags for third. Puts the tag on and it's a double play. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Base runner decided to test him, and it was a bad decision. Outstanding throw on a frozen rope at home. That'll end the inning with the bank. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the rookie third base, third base number 12. Number 12. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off two and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That misses the zone. Count. And that's ball three. Steals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow Bogey found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now with the plate, number 31. Pitcher one. That one fouled off. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. way to the corner and that will drop the foul the 2-2 two -two. gets a piece there we'll do it again and a pitch that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going Grinding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10. Five ball down the line. He's got it. And there's one away. Batting none. The center fielder. Number and one. now the center fielder. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. They got it for out number two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Number 10. Now it's the second baseman. Ball up. Two.
two outs. Hit hard on the ground is short. The throw to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Out of the fourth, Leading and now the right the fielder, Josh Pearson. The right fielder, Josh Pearson. The 2-1. And strike two. Instead of letting the hitter get his Here arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to first, one up, one down. Now batting, number eight. Here's the catcher. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Headed towards the corner. Full extension meets the catch. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, that catch shows us just how efficient that route for the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Such a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know. But, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. The one, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. This one popped up, under it. Drops into the glove, and that'll do it. Bottom of the fourth, Leading now the off, number Arkansas. two hitter, Kendall right Diggs. Kendall Diggs. Left-hand hitter waits. Right Swing here. and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. In the dirt, and the count is filled up. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. On the ground. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff. Now man. Number nine. Now it's the shortstop. Down, base is empty. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one, two. High fly ball, right field. He's there, he's got it. And there's two down. The first baseman, number six. Ben. And next will be the cleanup hit, Ben McLaughlin. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Slider clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, number 10. Ground ball right side. 
And that chance handled. Whips it to oh. first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting, number 43. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman. One down, base is empty. And another oh. ball. Activity in the bullpen. Two and one. Gage Wood getting loose out there. Number 48 warming up as well. through that one for strike two. two and two Chris we were excited to watch him pitch this is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance wise yeah but great pitchers like this you may get one opportunity in one inning now to that. get to him to get some runs Number up on the board here. and if you don't take it then you may see zeros the rest of the ball game two down nobody on and that one fouled off. Here's a one-two. Warning track. And you can catch all of baseball, man. That was blasted to the moon. And they add a run. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and got clear swing. He stayed on it and got out. Now the left fielder, Matt Bingham. And ball. another ball. 2-1. Just ball. missed. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that's ball Take four. your base, ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary base. lead. So ball oh, down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Your attention, please. Wood takes over now on the mound. Pitching. Hasn't Yay. pitched in the last three days. Whoa. So digging in, Tommy White. Right hater deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Bingo leads off first with two down to the inning. Headed down the line. And that drops foul. Now it's even up. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a ball popped up. McLaughlin under it. He makes the grab. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here is White. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, no fastball, Number burn 36. to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. And next is the designated hitter. That one finds the zone. One and two. Good. 
Riding to the plate. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Down the third baseman. Number 12. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning, number five. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Look at Sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. The one, two. Two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That one to first. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time. He's safe. All over that one right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. It's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Could be a chance here for them to start falling back into this ballgame. Here's the left fielder. Here's a swing and a miss. One and two. Man on second, two down. Yeah, that's oh, outside. outside. Two balls, two strikes. It's in and out of his glove. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the end. And we're back, digging in. Jared Jones. Leading off for Louisiana. The first baseman, Jared. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Meanwhile, activity of the bullpen. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. pitch stays alive at the belt and fires come on and miss in out and one ball he's really good hitting the baseball the other way so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch clearly he had a pull Josh Pearson the next to hit One down, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And Look another out. ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw Number a lot eight. of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. One gone runner at first. And here's the catcher. The 1 1. Swimming to drive deep right field. 
drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Lead runner touches second, hit it for third. Not in time, he's got a double. Well, that was a circus type play right there. First it started with a bad angle, and then needing to jump to try to get up and make the catch. Just a bad look all the way around. Second and third, one gone. Next to hit, Ethan Gray. The pitch. And there's the foul ball. Second and third here, one away. Just this is without. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Settles under this one, and it makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly, and the lead is up to five. The batter, number ten. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Runner at second, two down. Here in game one of this three-game set. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that's down. A base hit. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's six-nothing. It's a run on the board that picks up an RBI. That can be a really tough pitch to handle, a front door breaking ball, but he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed, and didn't spit off the ball to look at foul, which happened so many times. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the second baseman. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Tigers have the lead, six to nothing. Bottom of the six. Here's the center fielder, number one. The center fielder, number one. Ball to strike, the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of That's trying to be down. too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The wind of the pitch. Hit in the air, right field. And puts the squeeze on that one. Then there's one down. Now batting. Number 10. Now it's the second baseman. Try to keep that hitting streak alive. 10 game hitting streak for the young man. Left hand batter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. Bingo. Settles under it. Corrals it. And there's two down. And he's close as he's the trying right to get through Number six full innings right now. He's Get's about to goal. throw his 100th pitch. Yeah. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Kendall Diggs. Deep Swing out. and a miss, and he struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. We go to the top of the seventh, and now the center fielder, number 28. And a pitch. Hard hit left side. Whips it across. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Fastball groove right down the middle. Now Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted Bingo. to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Now the left fielder, Matt Bingham. Base is empty one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. 
foul ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. This one in the air right field. Diggs moving under it. He's got it. Two down. Now batter. The third base. Player. Two outs. Tommy. Base is empty. Now no. Tommy White. Righty delivers. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. The Tigers on top here, six to nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop, number nine. The wide to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And that one popped to short, and it's caught for the out. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and number that's what we're witnessing six. here. This lineup's Man. inability to lock on to the player. pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. Ben McLaughlin now at the plate. And the pitch. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 48, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Brown getting cranked up as well. One down, base is empty. That misses two and the two. zone. The count now two and two. performance for him today Bull. just two hits allowed so far no runs across either and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Luke Pullman is done and he was a tough nut to crack pretty stingy from start to finish back with the new arm after a quick break Pitching change here, You're number 40. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. To the right side, stops it on a slide. To second, there's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Now it's the DH. The 2 1. Good no, eye right not. there. White, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Two outs. The other way, and it goes just foul. Kicks and fires. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Rose stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Number 12. Here's the third baseman. And there's the strike.
Two on, two outs. And that one ripped into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. The we go to the eighth. The and here's baseman. the first baseman, Jared, Jared Jones. Jones. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And he brings it in in a warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. But the pitcher's his friend. He'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pick. And now the right fielder, Josh Pearson. And the righty deals. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And here is Hi. number eight. Next pitch in for a strike. And it's one and two. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Sizing this one up. Calls it in. And there's two away. Now back. The designated hit. Ethan. So two down now. And here is Ethan Gray. Fall off foul. Two outs. And another two, two. ball. And here it comes. Swing Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Yeah. Me quité, me puse de lobby, me busqué la funda. Me, me, me busqué la funda. Tengo pile munda. Me, no me hacía rumba. ¿Por qué? Estoy más puesto que nunca. Me quité, me puse de lobby, me busqué la funda. Me, me. Bottom of the eighth. Leading Here's off. the left Arkansas. fielder. Number 31. The left fielder. Number 31. And nope, a curve no. misses outside. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And that ball is gone. His first homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 6-1. the center fielder here comes a pitch ground ball up the middle fires the first on the run That's an one gone to the bottom of the eight now batting number 10 here's the second baseman one out base is empty and a run in here the bottom half of the eighth inning Just That's the ball missed. down. Good eye no, in that, that spot. 
three and one. One down, base is empty. And yeah, there's That's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted right. at first base right. with a quick free pass. And now, Ooh. Kendall Diggs. Here's a 1-1. That missed. That's the ball. Man at first, one Still away. One. Next yeah. offering clips the zone count even at two. In the air, left side. Makes the catch. Bat at first. Now batter. The batter will be Number the shortstop. Nine. One run across to the frame so far here in game one of this three-game set. Next no, pitch is outside. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And that's go, outside. Go. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. You're back. It's the top of the ninth. And now there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 41. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And a pitch. On its way to the corner. And foul as it banks off the fence. The shortstop takes the ball. Slice to right. And that's a fair ball. Around first. Digging for two. The throw in. He's in there. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So, man aboard. And now it's the switch inning second baseman. Lifted in the air, out to left. Moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. The batter. Number 28. And now the center fielder. Right-hander kicks deals. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. And a count is three and one. in for a strike. You got a full count. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Rip to third. 
On to first. You know, got him. Now batting the left fielder, Matt Bingham. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, Matt Bingham. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ripped to short, gets it to first, and the inning is over. The one hit is all they get. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The Tigers have the advantage, six to one. Bottom nine, and now the first baseman, Ben McLaughlin. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Sizes this one up, puts it away for the out. Now the catcher now up to hit. White. Number eight. Bases empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Out to short. Sends it to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. So they're down to their final out. Stepping in, number 36. Popped up, settles underneath it, and that'll do it. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, it looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crowd, John Shopey saying so long. Yes, I do, man. My back is full. Fans, our final line score.